Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is Sunday, March 20th, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on Patriots. In Exodus, we know that Miriam, Aaron, Caleb, and Joshua were considered Patriots. Also, Moses was their main leader. Now, they led the Israelites for many years, even though they were in the wilderness for 40 years. In the book of Judges, we know Deborah as Miriam was a leader. So was Samson. They were also patriots. Deborah helped the Israelites to defeat many kings. In the book of Samuel and Kings, King David was a patriot and a warrior even before he became a king. Even as a lad, he defeated Goliath with only five smooth stones and a sling. He remained loyal to Saul, the king, even though Saul was trying to kill him. In the book of Esther, Esther and Malachi saved the Jews from a possible complete annihilation and destruction. They too would be considered patriots. We know in the book of Daniel, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were captured in forest to serve the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. They remained loyal to God and were able to be leaders in Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom. They remained loyal to the king and to God. They would also be considered patriots. We know that many soldiers, they, when they go to war and they fight for our country, they too are patriots. When one fights a battle or works for a country honorably, they can be considered a patriot. Many of the leaders of the Old Testament were patriots and could have been killed for their beliefs. Jesus was killed for his belief. God even chose a king and a queen to save his chosen people, the Israelites. God protected those who remained loyal to him as Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who were already in captivity. I want you to think about this today, Sunday, a day of worship, and you too can be a patriot by being loyal and true to God. I want to thank you and have a blessed day.